lovelies. So I just want to tackle this. So I am a Christian and the reason I'm telling you this is because being a Christian has been a huge, I would say, hugest part of my coping with my chronic pain. So I was actually not a Christian when I first became ill. So I have a very good contrast of being a non-Christian and being ill and being Christian and being ill. I'm not saying like things magically get better because I'm Christian. It just is very different, which I'll try to explain. When I accepted Jesus into my life, you really have to work at it. And I think people forget that. And it's very easy to get persuaded not to go to church or not to keep up with your, um, just even reading like a little bit of the Bible each day and taking time to pray. And it's really, really easy to get caught up in that. And, but I think the biggest thing for me that I still carry because, you know, my faith is very strong and then sometimes it's weakened and then it's strong again. And, um, you know, I'm only human. I sin every single day of my life. Uh, so, you know, I'm not perfect and I get doubts and the enemy gets to me. And when you're tired and when you're hurting and when you're upset, you know, you can listen to the negative thoughts in your head and turn against, you know, there's, I have people that have like renounced Christ and then come back to him again. And, you know, so I'm not saying it's this like perfect road once you accept Christ, but the number one thing that keeps me strong with my faith and what I found through my faith is that no matter what, all of this pain that I'm enduring, going through, whatever word you want to use, has a purpose. And that is something before I was a Christian that I didn't have and it felt so hopeless. Um, if you're someone that's watched my videos since the beginning, you know that I have shown you my depressive states. I just, I get, I mean, I do these every single day. So if I'm depressed, you guys see it. But my depression has only dipped one time really, really low um, since I've become a Christian. Other than that, it hasn't gotten to the point where I've, because I used to want to just kill myself all the time. Like that's, I would like dream of killing myself. That would like calm me down. Like, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be so wonderful to just not be on this earth anymore? I don't really get that anymore. And like the like, why me? Like, what am I doing wrong? Kind of thinking that I had because I believed in God before, but I just always thought like, what did I do wrong? Like, because I've sinned so much, God is like putting this on me because this is what I deserve kind of thing. But now I know that whether I am never cured or never healed or whatever, and I just am in pain for the rest of my life, that it's for a purpose, that God is working through me to reach other people. I don't know what it is, how it is. I have no idea. Like, But I know that he's using me and that the pain is all not for nothing. So that's been enormously just, gosh, I can't even tell you the weight of that. Um, to just not feel every single day, why? 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 Why me? Why is this going on? And I actually just kind of like even... I'm, I'm very blessed to have a diagnosis, but I always tell people if they turned around tomorrow and had a, you know, well, I, I, they have a blood test, but an affordable blood test and it came back negative for me for fibro or something, which would be shocking because I have like, 50, like 59 of the 60 symptoms. But um, if it did, it wouldn't shake my world because no matter what I have, I still have it and it's for a purpose and I just have to trust God and do what I think he wants me to and do what he I think he wants 
me to do, like, I don't know, doing a vlog every single day for 365 days. What? Why? I don't know. I don't like it. I have no makeup on. I look a hot mess. Sometimes I can't even have the lights on because I have a migraine. But God just called me to do it. So that happened. It also is tremendously important to me to be able to pray for people. For me to be able to pray for someone, pray with someone is something so I don't know if I can put it into words. Um, I remember my grandfather was very ill. Um, actually, you guys don't know about this. I was, it just seems like I've been doing this for like three years. But um, when I was, you know, in Florida, like my grandparents live in, live in Florida. So we went there early because my grandfather was dying. And he was in hospice care. He was, we had numerous relatives telling us that he was dying and that we needed to come as soon as possible we packed up everything and went when i got there i prayed over him he looked like a corpse and i prayed with my grandmother who was just out of her mind hysterical and for the first time in my life i heard my grandmother pray and she prayed in german and it was just this magical moment of something so special that you can't really explain and she was praying at the same time as I was and she was praying a German prayer and at the end she said <laughs> and this is so sweet but she said does God do you think God I hope God understands German <laughs> I'm like oh my he understands every language you could be speaking gibberish and he knows your mind and it was she was hysterical when we came that first time and I prayed with her and after that it was as if her whole body relaxed she had stopped crying it was beautiful when there's these situations where you I can't I could not do anything with my grandfather I mean he was not he didn't know who I was he was not talking there was nothing I could do is what my initial thought is but as a Christian, I can pray for people. I can pray for my grandfather. All of the things. You can pray for everything. And that just gives you just such a sense of hope with yourself and with other people. And I'm not sitting here trying to convert anyone. I'm. Please don't think that. I'm just telling you how I cope. Because a lot of people ask this. I think... You know, there's huge parts of coping and it's mentally, physically, and spiritually. And whatever that spiritual side is for you, I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to force things on you. That's not my kind of Christianity. I don't hate people. I don't hate groups of people. I don't judge groups of people. Um, that's not my job. That's God's. Like... I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what he's even going to do with me because I'm a sinner. But if you do want to talk about Christianity or any of the specific types of things that I use, um, like prayer or meditation or some of the, you know, just daily devotionals that I do or um, what my baptism experience was because I was an adult when I was baptized and because I was... An adult when I became a Christian it's kind of cool it kind of sucks because I'm like god why weren't you there through like high school and stuff I could have really used you but um it's kind of cool though because I actually remember like I remember what happened at my baptism and what it felt like and what it meant to me and it was the best day of my life so it's to just really be clear that he is my anchor he is my anchor and uh, he really is, in the, my worst times, he is my anchor to secure me and to ground me and bring me back to a place where I can live on this earth and not want to die. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. 
if you have differing opinions, that's completely fine. I am not going to argue about religion or my faith. But if you have differing opinions, I love hearing them. And I love hearing about different religions and different spirituality and all that kind of stuff. I'm very open about listening and hearing all that. Just know that you're not probably going to. Well, there's no probably. You're not going to change my views on things. I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. And as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow. X the blues. Bye.